Welcome back everybody to another Offroad Outlaws random builds video and today we're back doing some car show builds. And why do I say we're back doing them when I just did a one the other day? Well that's because we're actually going to be building it on camera. Once again I'm getting back to building things on camera and not building it before. Because y'all really enjoy seeing me go through the process of building it. And I kind of enjoy doing it on camera as well. So let's go ahead and get into dealership, trucks, and today we will be getting the Ford Dent side. Oh man, I still love this thing. <laughs> Can't wait to do an, uh, a ton more builds of that. Now let's see, where is it at? Huh? What the? Okay. Okay, there we go. Now let me get the camera on there. Perfect. Now it is that color. Let's go ahead and get the paint set up. It's going to be glossy. It's going to be sort of a gray color. A darker gray. Let's see. I think that. That looks pretty close. Let's go into wraps. Hmm. Let's see, so let me look at this closely. That looks pretty much dead on with what it already looks like in there. Which is just hilarious. <laughs> okay, we're already done. See you later. <laughs> just kidding. This thing's actually pretty simple to make. So let's go ahead and get the, uh, my favorite part. And go to decals. Go to um, go to shapes. Go to circle. Oops. Get that out. Fit it in. Make it sort of a gold color. Keep it shiny. Then go get the uh, Wolf Army logo. Turn it fully black and actually seeable. Then I do that. And there you go. One more size. Should do it. There you go, Wolf Army. <laughs> go ahead and mirror that. Go ahead and mirror that. And then we do uh, the lettering back here without that part. Wolf Army. I have to put it on every one of my builds. This will be a little bit tougher to see there. So there you go. It kind of blends in with the vehicle. I really like that now. <laughs> I like that golden look. It just looks, it just fits in. Hmm. Uh, beer back. Okay, I did a little bit of balancing back here, and that's the look of it. Fits in pretty well. <laughs> actually, that actually looks very cool though. I really like that. And that also takes up the max uh, layers for this part too. So let's go ahead and get out of there. What rims do we need? We need uh, these type right there. I think metallic and then uh, slightly like that. Mm -hmm. And then for the bead, it needs to be solid white. You go back here to this one, do the same exact thing. Bead white spoke. Wait, no, wait, okay, now I'm just confusing myself. Uh, I don't think that's metallic. Spoke. That is metallic, I think. Okay, I think that's the best closest we're gonna get it. 
between both front and rear for now. No tire type. It's good, but oh god. Oh my god, that actually looks pretty cool. That looks sick. Simple builds. <laughs> Get rid of those tires right there, and there we go. Man, it looks cool just like this already. Now we need flags. And those are pretty simple. Really all it looks like it did was I'd say down possibly over. If I could see the flag for one second, please. There we go. A little downsize, just a tad bit. And then flag one. <coughs> that's another flag. I think it's back here somewhere. Yeah, that one. Basically the same. Trying to make sure that they're the same size. It's kind of hard to tell. I'm just gonna hope so. They don't look the same size. Okay, no, they're. Are they? They're not. I think this one's just a tiny bit taller. What about now? Oh, yeah, that looks right. That looks a lot better. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to be doing the uh, main part of it. There's the bumper. What about fenders? I think it's that. Bumper, that's just the normal bumper. Bed, it's normal bed. All that stuff normal. None of that. Not that it does have. Right there. Snorkel, no snorkel. Uh, there's the spare tire. I don't think it has that either. Nope, it doesn't. It definitely doesn't have that. Not that either. Not that. That I'm putting on there anyways, even if it didn't. But it does have it. I don't think it has that either. It does have this. Okay, lights. Uh, I'm just going to keep them like that. What about that? Okay, it does have that. And it doesn't have a repair pack, but I do not give a crap, and I'm putting it in there. And that looks so cool. I'm so glad they added those types of toolboxes. Just fits in perfect with this type of truck. Really perfect. Now that's all for that part. Ignore that noise. <laughs> now, let's go on to suspension. And, uh, actually, you know what? I'll be right back. Okay, so now we're back, and I am still... It is still crazy how bad they messed up on this. I mean, look at look at all this. Look at how much higher it is on the rear than the front. Jeez, but whatever. It's a drag car now. Nah, just kidding. I can even this out pretty easily. Now, also, the suspension on the actual truck in the car show is heavy-duty version of this. But, I went ahead and just kept it non-heavy-duty because, why not? <laughs> I have to say that again. It's just really one of my words, I say. And, well, frankly, you don't have to put it heavy-duty. So, let's go ahead and... Figure out the wheels. 
Let's see. You know what? Never mind. I figured out one reason why it's very high in the rear. 15,000 stiffness in the front and 20,000 stiffness in the rear, but still, it doesn't bring it down exactly even. And then again, when is it? When is every video vehicle actually even? At stop. Usually it's a little down in the front. And then sometimes it's just crazy. For one reason, do not put the independent type on this vehicle. Uh, this type right here. <laughs> it, just, it just looks terrible. Why is it so bad? I don't know. What the heck? Okay, I'm going to get back to finishing tuning this thing and then we'll go over what I did. Okay, so I may or may not have accidentally pressed the um, perfect setup, but really, actually, in my opinion of tuning for the past while in Offered Outlaws, if you do it yourself, it seems to perform a lot better. That's just something I've always noticed. It seems to perform a lot better when you tune it yourself for some reason. But let's go ahead and go over the uh, the way I built this. And all the tuning. So you see the suspension type, the tire type, and the rim type, which I did at the beginning. Now, axe width is 0 0.08. Damping is 2,000. Shocks, 0 in the front, which I probably need to change to 2. Shock size, 2.6. Stiffness, 15,000. Travel, 55. Axle type, zero brake type also zero now back to the rear axis width 0 0.08 damping just call it 2000 rear steering none shocks two shock size 2.2 .2. stiffness 20,000, travel 45, brake type 0, axle type 0, do the tuning in the rear the way you want it, or really just do the suspension any way you want it. It really doesn't matter. It's your style of vehicle, the way you want to build it, that's the way it is. Okay, rim size, max. Wheel radius, 1.2, and wheel width is 1.5 for front and rear. Now, gear tuning, first, 3.2, second, 1.6, third, 1.1, fourth, 0 0.9, fifth, 0 0.8, and low gear is 2.4. Dino is just this, uh, yeah, I accidentally did that one. Now, what will it do in the VR? Decent. What about drop test? What about flex test? Okay, so around 14. That's nice. Let's go ahead and get on to a time challenge. Okay, we are back uh, to the time challenge course in Woodlands for this vehicle. Now, let's go ahead and get down here. There's probably going to be a little bit of tuning that I have to do this thing because of the way the suspension is. So, it'll probably be in a routine video. So, there we go, we're at the starting line. And three, two, one, go. I definitely don't want to go low in this. Just, just bugging it though. It's going, it's doing pretty well. It's a nice truck, too. I kind of like it, but we haven't even got to the hard vehicles yet, which kind of worries me. For now, it's going to be mainly easy vehicles, easy builds. Then it's going to get into the more challenging builds that is going to take time for me, which I'm kind of not looking forward to, but at the same time, I am because I, I really enjoy doing this type of stuff.
aquí hard to really do anything when when those checkpoint things those trail markers lag the game like that Jump it! We. I'm losing my way around this map. I've done this trail so much, I should know this perfectly. Go ahead and turn diff lock off. I always start that quick is the way I do it. I always start it like that. Come in fast and press it. Focusing and actually doing a pretty good time. Can you go up the hill like I need you to? There we go. I'm still learning that part because I'm still kind of new to the time challenge that we're doing. Okay, well, I guess I'm going down this way. Maybe I should just make it where I go down this way. At this point. Three minutes, 50 seconds. Not too bad. Hmm, let's see. Let's take some time out. So, time... So, I'd say... Around three minutes fifty, f no, around three minutes and forty-five seconds in total, minusing all the lag uh, from the uh, dang trails and the starting, because I usually start like a second late. Seeing if it'll make it up this way. Eh? Yeah, did pretty well. So, uh, let me know how y'all enjoy the build that I did. And uh, if y'all enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like. Maybe subscribe if you want to. It's up to you. And I'll see you next time in another Off Road Outlaws build video. Like this one. Probably going to be another car show build so I can start catching up on them. Like I said, hope you enjoyed. See you later, Wolf Army. Have a great and safe rest of your day. This video actually didn't take too long because this was a simple build. And I still love the Wolf Army logo. See you later, Wolf Army. Bye-bye.